Hello everyone, this is Lamed Sani of Code Logical, and in today's video, we're going to be adding an edit product page for our simple shopping cart system. Okay, so first thing we need to do is create a route for the edit page. And let's duplicate this route and just call it edit product. Okay, and the part will be edit product as well. And it will have a dynamic segment since we need to know which product we're editing. Just say product underscore ID. Okay, just notice that this is unconvention. You could just say ID, but um, just so we don't have to create the route explicitly, we just use the convention and everything works properly. Okay, so next, what we need to do is create a template for that edit product. So we'll just copy this um, add product um, template as well and just change the ID to edit product. And yeah, so that's about it and also next we need to create a controller for the edit product so we'll just say app that um, edit product controller equals to ember that object controller that extent and inside there we just need to create a actions hash and the actions hash will be another hash which has um, key value properties of names and um, functions. So we'll just say save product and we'll just give it a function. Okay, one interesting thing if you notice these two controllers, the um, edit product controller and the add product controller, they look similar in the sense that they both have this um, save product um, action here. But this time we're creating, in this add product controller, we're creating a new product. But here we have access to actually a model for this um, controller. Because the way we can access this page here is by clicking on the edit link, which we will create shortly. And by clicking that, we're passing a model to this template here. This template already has a model that is editing. So we don't need to get some properties and create a new record and all that. So all we need to do is say this dot get model save and that's it so we'll just pass in a function to the save um, function so that anytime that it's done saving we'll just reroute to the um, index page so we'll just get the controller so we'll, I would have access to it inside the anonymous function so the controller is this and inside here we'll just say controller dot transition to to route and we'll just say index okay so let's just see what we have and um, oh right I did forget one thing as well we need to create um, an edit link here inside this loop so let's just do that next so I'll just push this down here and um, we'll create another link to helper And what do we link to? We link to the edit product route. And since it's a dynamic segmented route, we have to pass in a model which will be used to populate that dynamic segment part. And in this case, it's a product. So the ID of the product will be in the dynamic segment. So we'll just say edit and we'll just close it. Okay, so if everything works fine, we shall see um, edit links next to each product. So back in our browser on the home page, let's refresh. As you can see, PlayStation 3 and Xbox have edit um, links next to them. Let's create, click on them. As you can see, the dedicated edit um, product page is automatically populated with, uh, um, with these product um, properties. So let's just edit PlayStation um, 3, let's say PlayStation 4. Um, this here should say update, but we just leave it as fine. When I click on it, um, everything goes fine. We should update this PlayStation 4 here um, model and then be taken to the home page. So I click on that. Seems like we have an error. See what it is. Console. Um, yeah, what happened? Okay, let's go back to the drawing board. Debugging time. <laughs> Alright, so we are in this um, edit product here. Uh, we just say save product 
Um, let's see. Ah, the issue is um shouldn't be shouldn't be passing the function to save. I should pass it to then because then save returns a promise. So you're do saying that when the promise resolves, let's call this function. That was my mistake. Pardon me. So we'll go back to the home page, refresh. Click on edit, I'll change it to PlayStation 4. This time we should be taken to the home page. So I click on it, PlayStation 4 has been edited. When I click on PS4, um, we've shown the title and the updated details. So I'll just go back and do it for the Xbox 360. I'll just say Xbox One. And we'll just say, uh, let's leave this as they are. Update the um, price, say 400 pounds. And click on um, update or add and it's automatically updated as you can see we have Xbox one and the title and the price have been updated so um, that's it for this tutorial video and um, I hope it was helpful and if it was please do rate and subscribe to my channel and I shall see you soon in another video thanks for watching bye bye